All right, so we just created a class model. We started with a uh, class model that involved three different events, and then we uh, modified that a little bit to focus on the two key events, the purchase in which uh, we receive the goods every time we purchase. Uh, so we collapsed the purchase and receipts into the one. We then added our two type image classes for the vendor categories and the product categories. So now it's time to start thinking about how do we turn our class model into an actual database. And remember we've got some basic rules that we follow so we're going to look at our REA classes. So our REA classes, let's see, REA classes equals one two, three, four, five, six, so we've got six. And then we've got our type images. So we've got one, two of those type images. And now the final thing we have to do is figure out how many many to many relationships do we have. So we can take a look real quickly and see that uh, okay there's one, one, one on that one, one's all up and down here, one. Okay so we're left with one many to many relationship. Let's go ahead and put that in blue. So we'll circle that. Many to many relationships equals one, giving us a grand total of nine tables. So remember those many to many relationships will turn into, or in this case, the single many to many relationship will turn into a single linking table. The next thing to keep in mind is where are we going to have to post our foreign keys? The rule says we post a foreign key in a one-to-many relationships and we're going to post the foreign key to the many side of the relationships. So here for instance if we've got purchases and we've got a, a many to one back to vendor. That means we're going to have a foreign key for vendor. So we'll have a foreign key vendor and we'll also have a foreign key for business partner. So for every purchase I'm going to have to record in the purchase event what vendor, what business partner uh, is associated with that particular purchase. And I'll do the same thing with cash disbursements. I'll do the same thing with my products to product category uh, for each product. Which product category does it belong to? For every product category, who is the business partner in charge of that product category? Same with the vendor categories. For each vendor category, who is the business partner in charge of that vendor category? And for each vendor, which vendor category do they belong to? The cash disbursements themselves will be made out of a particular bank account. So the cash foreign key would be there as well as the business partner and the vendor. So it's important to remember that we're posting toward, and I'll just go ahead and take that example. Foreign key. foreign key. So the foreign key is posted to the many side of the relationship. So how does that end up looking? Well we build our uh, ta database in access, we define our tables, we can build our relationships and then we can uh, take a look at the relationship window and we might end up with something that looks a little bit like this. So here we can see we've got our product categories so we have our type image table here, 
man down here in supplier category so green equals type image and I think we were using red for the REA classes and that's going to be products bank accounts or cash as we had it before purchases cash disbursements business partners and suppliers so each of those is our REA class and that leaves us with our linking table here that links our purchase class to our products class. And you can see here, the linking table is going to have two primary keys, well, one primary key made up of two fields. I should say a, a compound key there with purchase order number that links us back to the purchases table, and then the product number, which links us to the product table. And the same is done for every foreign key that we define. So the cash disbursements here, the business partner number, goes up to the partner table. The supplier number is linked to the actual supplier number. Now each of these relationships is made explicitly with the foreign key field to the appropriate primary key in the uh, related table. In databases uh, it's called relationship which is more or less the same thing that we were talking about when we talked about the associations in the class model. Alright so here we've got our class model we have uh, taken a look at it figured out how many REA classes convert to tables uh, we have converted the type images to tables and now we have identified where we need to convert a many-to-many -many relationship into a linking table and have put that in the database.